Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the management and specifically trees and bush management in the game because Haiti is all about management. And honestly, the people who fail to see this or realize that Haiti does have some strategies are probably the ones that give up really soon because you do need to put a lot of efforts into this game. It's not like you're going to play it every once a week and you'd be like, oh, I'm going to reach all 300. No, that's not going to happen. Anyways, I'm going to start with uh, planting some crops. I'll go with some soybeans as usual and probably some wheat. Okay, there we go. And now, if you have a look at my farm right now, you can see it's kind of a mess because my trees are not in their original farm. Some of them are dead, some of them are small, some of them are giving me fruits, while others are just not even ready to be collected. And usually, I don't like this kind of a look. I manage my trees, let's say, every other day. But sometimes, just like real life, there are days when we're feeling lazy, when we just don't want to do anything. And the same happens in Haiti, when I don't feel like managing everything, you know, because it takes time. And maybe I don't have enough time for that. But today, I finally decided that I'm going to manage all my trees. I'm going to be cutting the trees that are dead. I'm going to be putting the helps on the ones that need helps. And I'm going to collect all the fruits. I'm going to cut them down. Now, remember that cutting down trees and bushes will require a lot of saws and axes. And luckily, that's not a problem for me. I get all my saws and axes from the town. I've never really traded saws and axes. But you can trade if you don't, you know, have enough or you just struggle getting them. You can also hire Tom for saws. He's really helpful. And don't ever sell your sauce to these visitors. Oh my gosh, they are a disaster. So I think I'm just going to get started. So whether it's your machines, it's your town, fishing area, animals, or even the trees, everything in this game needs a management. You have to put everything at a certain place so that you get most benefits out of it. For example, if I don't manage my trees, and let's say all of them get dead, then I wouldn't be able to make any products. And literally, I've been struggling so much already, and it's been like... Five to six days, I haven't managed my trees. You can see I've got my olive trees, literally no olives, and I've just been asking my neighbors for all these uh, fruits and berries, and then I felt like, no, I need to sort out my own trees. Now, basically, how do I do trees management is very simple. My goal is to make sure that I always have all the fruits available, and anytime my tree gets dead, I immediately cut it. Uh, this is one of the mistakes I used to make in the beginning of the game, that I never used to cut my trees when they used to get dead, and I would just leave them for months, for days, and then at the end, my farm would convert into a jungle. And honestly, I don't really like that. I like when trees are blooming, when trees are giving fruits, because that's beautiful, and that's actually the main purpose of your farm. You know, it's sun, everything is shining, and everything is blooming. I'm actually going to be fast forwarding this video with the music so that you guys can sit back, chill, and relax. Otherwise, I'm not going to talk like the whole time I'm just cutting my trees, collecting the fruits, or asking for help. Plus, a lot of people find the talking boring. They say I talk too much, so I think that's what I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, I'm going to get started. And once I finish managing all my trees, fruits, bushes, I'll see you guys, and then we'll talk about how I did. So, let's go. I hope you guys enjoy this.
Yes, we are finally back. It took me almost 35 to 40 minutes just cutting all the trees, asking for help, and replanting the trees, which you guys must have seen in my previous clip. Or maybe you didn't. I just showed you guys cutting the trees and asking for help. So yes, this is the new look of my farm. I've got all the trees in an otter, and they do look very organized, and this is basically how... I like my trees at one place. I don't really do a lot of decoration with my trees. And yes, I have finally done my trees management. Now I'm just going to wait for them to give me fruits. My silo actually got full and I had to sell so many fruits. Yeah, I did sell so many fruits because uh, I had like thousands of, sorry, not thousands, just hundreds of oranges and peaches. So I sold some extra and kept about 90 to myself. And I think one of my trees still needs help. Yes. The olive tree over here. Yeah, so what is the deal with the trees is if you don't do this every day, and as I said that I usually do my tree management every day, anytime I harvest my tree, it gets dead. I cut it immediately. I don't wait. Because the problem is if you get lazy with your trees and bushes and you don't cut them, they just keep collecting, they keep adding, and they keep getting more and more. So at the end, there's going to be a lot of work that you'll have to do like I did today. So this is what I do maybe once or twice a year because usually I just manage my trees every single day with a daily routine. So it's not a big deal. So it doesn't get like a huge workload. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, let me know how do you manage your trees? What's your tricks and secrets? Do you do this every day or you have like a weekly or monthly routine? And how do you plant your trees? Do you decorate with your trees or do you plant them in a group at one place like I do? Subscribe to the channel for more hating content coming. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.